Welcome to day number two adventurers of our Hero to Zero and all the way back to Hero series. That's a little bit of a longer name. Maybe you guys can help me think of a better one. The point is, adventurers, this is my normal character. My normal character that has been stripped of every single thing that I've ever worked towards except spec. I don't have any more silver. All of the silver that I have right here was made throughout the challenge. I don't have premium anymore and all of the items are gone except the items that I managed to farm in the first day of this challenge. But enough about the first day, second and they third day talk adventurous we have to continue yesterday i've made it a goal for myself to reach one million silver now uh the way i reach one million silver is by well doing a whole sort of diverse stuff i was doing some uh, mists i was doing some corrupted dungeons i was doing some ratting i was doing a little bit of everything travelers today is going to be a little bit more specific i want to start risking it and diving it a little bit into pvp but since i want to try to keep things as uh, new player friendly as possible i'm gonna try something that i wanted to try for a very long time i'm gonna buy myself a pvp set the pvp set that i'm super good with but i'm not gonna bring it into full loot zones quite yet because i want to try to answer the question if hunter corrupted dungeons are worth doing as a player without premium uh, and maybe that does not want to risk it into stalkers. Talking about stalkers, we already know that answer. Yeah, it's 100% gonna be worth it. But I wanna try to do like 10 Hunter Crop Dungeons just to see how much silver can a premium less character make in such an environment. So if you're curious about what's the answer to this question as well, well then hang out with me and let's see how it goes. Oh, oh perfect, he's following me, he's following me. Perfect, continue, continue, continue. I need to bait him, I need to convince him to fight adventurers. Ah, man, I've, I've got a little bit too low over there, you see? That's the problem. Okay, 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 okay. What does he have? Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> got him! <laughs> oh, man, works every time. It works every time. You just have to, you know, give them some confidence, man. Oh, that's interesting. I need to put a lot of pressure on this guy. I'm surprised he doesn't use the ring of fire. Come on, come on, traps. Oh, come on, traps. Oh. Why did you attack the mob, though? I mean, to be fair, with 23 HP, any auto attack from any mob would have uh, gotten him to that exact situation right there. Kind sir, would you like to react to a four minute video? Geometry Dash players pushed human limits even further. Drop it in the chat. I'll be more than happy to react to that. Four minute video. Is this a video that's gonna make me feel like the biggest noob? Like players absolutely smashing uh, world records or stuff like that? Probably. I'm gonna check it out after this fight. Let me wait for the fight to be over and then I'll check it out. Perfect, get pulled again. Oh, come on! Yeah, that's fine. He's super panicking. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh no, I forgot that the mob was aggroed on me! No, I forgot the mob was aggroed on me over there. Thing is, I don't mind getting a little bit low because I need to bait him. Come on, mob, please catch. Beautiful. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. Perfect. Sometimes you gotta get low, adventurers. You gotta get them the wheel to fight, you know? You gotta, you gotta pump that fighter spirit in their veins, man. Otherwise, they just run. Okay, but what am I, uh, what am I supposed to expect from this? Full level showcase. Limbo full level showcase.
For reference, if he touches any of the walls, he dies. Bro, wait a minute. Are those little balls also killing him? Are those little things also killing him? Because he seems to be avoiding them. I give up man, no I'm not trying this, there's no way, this is not human man, this is not normal, you're not supposed to do this, damn, this is, uh, this is not human man, this, this is not normal, look at him, Bro, I feel like my grandmother when I showed her GTA 5 for the first time. I'm not playing this. No, I'm, I'm, no. I'm absolutely not playing this. No, no. No, I'm, I'm not playing this. Oh, you guys were not hearing the music. Well, uh, then my dance kind of doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> it is what it is. You know, adventurers... I still have absolutely no idea why the developers are not adding Corrupted Dungeon maps. For the same exact reason we have Hellgate maps. Why don't we have Corrupted Dungeon maps? It's super annoying to go and search for a Corrupted Dungeon for like 5 minutes and then stay in the Corrupted Dungeon for 10 minutes and at the end get a rat. You know, if this whole thing happened faster, I think Corrupted Dungeons would become much more enjoyable. Because that's the problem, you're spending a lot of time doing tedious stuff. Finding the Corrupted, doing the PvE, and at the end if you get into a bad fight or into a rat or into a straight up counter fight, you just, yeah, you know, or a resetter. The resetter fight wouldn't be so annoying if the Corrupted Dungeons could be done like the Mists are done. You have a portal in Kalyan or in whatever city, and you just constantly teleport to Corrupted Dungeons, and uh, you get a bad fight, oh, boohoo, it took 5 minutes to get there, so it's not a big deal. But as of right now, it takes more to find the Corrupted Dungeon sometimes than to actually do the Corrupted Dungeon, and that's annoying. Beautiful. Yeah, 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 let's brawl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you dead. <laughs> I don't think you see very well, Traveler. I think your eyes might be fooling you this one time. Look again. Come on. Uh, okay, he has uh, almost everything ready. This is why you normally want to run something like Mercenary Jacket for extra sustain. Okay, that was a super weird choice. Following it up with another super weird choice. Adventurer, your chances of seeing me dead are diminishing with every passing second. Ah. But I don't blame you, Traveler. I'm the I'm the Smurf. I really don't blame you, Traveler. I am the Smurf here. I'm not supposed to be in Hunters, but I'm doing it for science. Definitely not to feel better about myself. No, no, no. I would never do such a thing, Travelers. And he should be around here. Yep. <laughs> the third eye, my friends. The all-seeing eye is taking... Is taking part with me, Adventures. I see you, Dad. See, I like that you have a fighter spirit around you, my friend. I like... The foul tarnished. Emboldened by the flame of courage. I like to see that, travel. A bow of badonk. Alright, the bow of badonk shall be countered by this. It's gonna be rough, but not super rough. Well, that kind of sucks to be us. I messed it up over there. Yeah, see, that's my problem with ball badongs. Well, 
Boba don't kind of counter me here. You see, that's the problem. I have to be super careful around here. Yeah, you dead. You dead. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've messed up. I thought I would die over there because accidentally I had my god down because, you know, this is undercropped dungeons. I'm just, yeah, feels kind of, most, more often than not, it feels like I'm fighting mobs. No offense, I used to be a mob for a very long time as well and sometimes I still play like a mob. Uh, but I messed up my reflex in the first fight and I basically had to eat up the whole E without any reflex whatsoever. And that really messed me up. In the second fight, well, I didn't make that mistake in the second engage, you know. It's on me, Travelers. It's on me. It is what it is. We've almost died over there, but hey, we survived, and that's what matters. So what do I think about Demon Fang for PvP, somebody in chat asked. You know, seeing somebody try Demon Fang for PvP is like watching a fish climb a tree. It's not just sad. It's a reminder that evolution has its favorites. Demon Fang is not one of them. Or I should say the person using Demon Fang in 1v1 PvP is not one of them. It's Darwin at its finest, travelers. Wait a second, did you hear that Mr. Beast made a deal with Amazon for 100 mil? I want to see that. What? Okay, Mr. Beast rumored to sign a 100 million US dollars deal with Amazon Prime Video. According to reports, Mr. Beast is now reportedly nearing 100 million US dollar deals with Amazon. The report note James uh, Donaldson, better known as YouTuber Mr. Beast, that's his name? I didn't know that. He's close to signing a contract to develop a competition series exclusively for Amazon Prime Video. Mr. Beast and his team reportedly have been pitching the show for several streaming platforms with Amazon Prime Video securing the winning bid. While details are scarce at the moment, the first episode of the competition series is set to premiere on Mr. Beast's YouTube channel which has over 233 million subscribers. Rumors are also noting that the show will also feature a series of brand sponsors expected to be part of competition segments. That's cool. 100 million US dollars deal with Amazon Prime. A series of competition videos exclusively for Amazon Prime Video. That's super cool. Hmm. They call him Jimmy, so it makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know that's his name, but that's awesome. You know, to be honest, if you think about it, what Mr. Beast is doing nowadays, uh, it's basically better than most television shows. In a YouTube video, you have something that usually television shows would expand over five episodes. You know what I mean? But I'm super curious about this because I'm fairly sure he makes more from YouTube than that. I don't think 100 million is enough. L let's check something. I mean, he knows. He knows better than I do. But uh, I'm just curious about something. Mr. Beast. Let's round this to 2.2 billion. It was right? Yeah, billion. 2.2 billion views, man. That is insane. Divided by 1k. Because everything on YouTube gets calculated based on 1,000 views. And then multiplied by, let's say, an RPM of $5. It's probably a lot more than $5. It, it's probably a lot more than $5. We're talking about 11 million dollars per month just from YouTube. So, I don't know. Again, he knows better. I have no idea. I'm just, you know, giving my opinion, farting opinions at this moment, travelers. But 100 million for an exclusive series. If this series takes more than a month, or maybe he uploads videos in the meantime as well. Like, maybe he doesn't leave the YouTube and just uploads over there. Maybe he uploads videos on YouTube as well. In that case, that'd be great. But making a series exclusive at this type of numbers, I don't know, man. He's also paying a bunch of loans. Yeah, he's paying a bunch of loans, but at the same time, he also has uh, multiple companies. He has the Feastables. He has um, Beast Burger, um, Merch. So there's a lot of different... Like, this is just YouTube, not including sponsors. He has more viewers than the Super Bowl. I can assure you this number is probably times 10 in reality per month and if that's the case i don't know why he would do an exclusive deal but he knows but he knows that's just again my opinion maybe it's not like you know i was thinking that maybe instead of uploading content on youtube he's gonna upload it for uh, amazon prime or allow amazon prime to do that but this doesn't say that anywhere 
uh, like basically he can make a competition for Amazon Prime and then on top of that he can do his normal YouTube content uh, if he has the time to do that 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 is he gets more viewers yeah like on one hand that's the thing there's also something that works as uh, an extra spotlight for him pretty much the guy spends two to five million dollars on a single video usually yeah it's insane he's one of the most creative and fun to watch youtubers out there he raised the bar adventures he raised the bar genuinely oh yeah i forgot about that he's got channels in every single language and he dubs the content he's not just it's not just um uh translated at the bottom like um with subtitles subtitle that's the word that i was looking for it's not just subtit uh, subtitle it's dubbed so uh yeah that number times 10 at least times 10 at least times 10 i wonder i wonder what would happen if he was to start streaming i'm not sure if he could start streaming because it, it's a type of content that you cannot really do in a live stream but maybe just uh, hang out at the studio you know something like that i think it would be one of the most successful streams out there like basically my thinking is this if you have an exclusive deal with that, it means that you cannot upload that content that you create for Amazon Prime on YouTube. If you cannot upload that content on YouTube, then you're going to have to work extra to create YouTube content. If you have to work extra to create YouTube content, he's a pretty hardworking man, but one can only work so much. And assuming the fact that one can only work so much, if the quality of the YouTube videos drop, then maybe his brand drops and it's overall not a very good idea. But again, this is just my assumption. He knows better. It's his channel he has. He, it's clearly that he knows better than I do. It's clear that he knows much better than I do. Adventurers, it is time to calculate the coins to see how much we've managed to make. So first of all, let me tell you what we've done. Now, in those corrupted dungeons, I was trying to do the PvP and win the fight and also complete all of the chests. In one of those five dungeons, I accidentally messed up and out of habit, I accidentally ate out right after the fight. So instead of fighting the player and then getting the chest, I just fought the player and ate out. To make up for that, I've done a sixth dungeon on which I did not activate the shrine and I've just done the chests. Now that being said, this should be more than fair, we have made 400k, rounded up by 2k, 400k in total in about one hour of grinding? without premium in hunter corrupted dungeons assuming the fact that our set is 100 it's not 186 it's 250k maybe even 350k if you find it at a bad price uh but the point is we got back the money for our set and the reason i want to show this is because a lot of newer players first of all are worried about silver this is a very fun way of getting silver if pvp is your type of content and you don't really want to risk it uh, whenever you start playing the game, which by the way, you don't want to risk it whenever you start playing the game. So you want to try to practice your PvP and play your PvP in a safe-ish environment. That's what Hunter Corrupted Dungeons are for. Now on top of that, this should also get a new player over the fear of losing one's gear. Because hear me out, I've been doing Hunter Corrupted Dungeons. In Hunter Corrupted Dungeons, 100% safe environment, I've got back the money for my build and some more. At this moment, I have the build and I have the money for my build. What's stopping me from going in a stalker crop to dungeon and just trying? Just trying it out. See how it goes. This strategy right here is the way I got myself to be uh, good at PvP. I was practicing Hunter Corrupted Dungeons and after every 5 wins, I would go in Stalker and try once. Worst case scenario, I would have died, but I wouldn't lose any silver. Best case scenario, you can even double the silver that you have right now. So that would be my next step, but we're going to be exploring that in a different video.